Now we will be solving another example of evaluating an integral using partial fractions. And we are going to evaluate the integral of x squared plus 2x minus 1 over 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x dx. Now the first thing to do is try to check whether the fraction is proper or improper. So as we can see, it's a proper fraction with a degree in the de denominator greater than that of the numerator. Next thing we do is to factor the denominator. So that's x squared plus 2x minus 1 over what's common there is x times 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 dx. And factoring the trinomial further, the factor of a trinomial would be, if it's factorable, then that would be two linear factors, two binomials, 2x minus 1 over x. Factoring the trinomial, we get 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 dx. Alright, so we have three linear factors in the denominator, none of which are repeated, so meaning this belongs to case number one. And because there are three factors, then there will be a there will be corresponding three partial fractions that we can make out of this. So let's solve. Let's resolve this into partial fractions. Let's write the given x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x times... 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals for every denominator, linear denominator, there is a corresponding partial fraction with a constant in the numerator. So what we will do now is to solve for the values of these constants. Okay, so let's eliminate the fraction by multiplying the entire thing with the denominator. So if we multiply this to the original fraction, then we can cancel out completely the denominator. So what's left on the left side is x squared plus 2x minus 1. And for a, we remove x because there is an x in the denominator of a. So we get 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 plus b. For b, we cancel out 2x minus 1. So what's left is x times x plus 2. And for c, we cancel out x plus 2, so what's left is x times 2x minus 1. Next is we, what we can do here is to expand the polynomial. So let's multiply that. A, we know that the product of 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 is 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 plus b times x squared plus 2x we're multiplying here plus c times 2x squared minus x next is we group together all the terms containing x squared so we have here 2a And then we have another one here, B, and another one here, 2C. So let's combine them, plus B, plus 2C. And then we group together all the terms containing X. We have 3 here, but then take note that we multiply that to A. So that's 3A, plus we have here 2 multiplied to B. That's plus 2B. And then we have here C 
multiplied to negative 1. So, minus C. Plus the constant. Constant is negative 2A. So, we'll just write that as minus 2A. And that's all equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now, take note that this is an equation. The left side is quadratic and the right side is quadratic with the terms or with the variables here. x squared, we have x, and we have the constant. Okay? So, therefore, their coefficients are equal. So, we look at the coefficient. We look at the variable x squared. We check on the left side, what is the coefficient of x squared? It's equal to 1. So, we write 1. And the coefficient of x squared on the right side is the sum of these, is this expression. 2a plus b plus 2c. Okay? For x, the coefficient of x on the left side is 2. And on the right side is 3a plus 2b minus c. And for the constant, on the left side, it's negative 1. And on the right side, it's negative 2a. So from this, we can see that a is equal to, what is a equal to? a is equal to 1 half. So we already have one constant. Next thing is to, maybe you can substitute a to these two expressions so that we can form two equations, two unknowns. Or we can just use our calculator in solving the values of a, b, and c. So just input the coefficients here to the calculator and we can get the values. And after solving that, we'll be able to get that b is equal to 1 -fifth and c would be equal to negative 1 over 10. So this we solve using calculator. Or you can solve that manually. Okay, so we substitute to the given integral that this would now be equal to a is 1 half over x plus 1 over 5 over 2x minus 1 plus negative 1 over 10 over x plus 2 dx. So we can write this as 1 half integral of dx over x plus 1 over 5 integral of dx over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 10 integral of dx over x plus 2. So evaluate the integral that would be 1 half ln of x plus 1 over 5 times 1 half ln of 2x minus 1. Take note that 2 comes from here. Minus 1 over 10 ln of x plus 2 plus c. So finally, our answer is 1 half ln of x plus 1 over 10 ln of 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 10 ln of x plus 2 plus c. But take note that we can combine these expressions using the laws of logarithm. So this is the answer. So again, this is an example showing us case number one in resolving a fraction into partial fractions and then evaluating this integral.